This creature wasn't just a predator, it was a living nightmare. Imagine the Cretaceous period. Giant dinosaurs rule the land, but in the murky waters, something else waits, something bigger, something with a bite force that could crush a car. This is Dinosuchus, the terrible crocodile. It didn't just look like a modern crocodile, it was a monster scaled up to horrifying proportions. We're talking 40 feet long, the length of a school bus, its teeth were the size of bananas. Its skull alone was longer than a grown man is tall. It lurked silently beneath the surface of ancient rivers, a pair of eyes barely visible. A Tyrannosaurus rex, thirsty, lowers its massive head to the water's edge. It sees nothing, but the water ripples. A shadow moves with impossible speed. The explosion is instantaneous. Jaws clamp down on the dinosaur's snout with over 23,000 pounds of force. There's no struggle, no fight, just a violent drag into the depths. The king of the dinosaurs, pulled under by the true king of the water, scientists have found T-Rex bones with Dinosuchus bite marks on them. This wasn't a rare event, it was the daily menu. This super croc didn't just compete with dinosaurs, it actively hunted the most fearsome predators on the planet. But here's the truly terrifying part. Dinosuchus wasn't the only giant stalking these waters, it was just one of many, and some were even stranger, even more specialized. The rivers and swamps of the Cretaceous were a gauntlet of death, a place where even the apex predators of the land weren't safe, and what came after Dinosuchus was something else entirely.